Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Advanced Warfare In-Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the XMG Bacon and Eggs. This is the elite variant of the XMG light machine guns, the akimbo ones in the game. The ones that you guys probably don't use very much, but I'm going to recommend because they're excellent weapons and this is an excellent elite variant. So let's just jump straight into it and talk about the changes. The medium damage ranged on these XMGs got increased from 20 to 25. It changed the damage profile a little bit, and I know that it says it has a flat damage increase Typically, that means the close range damage or the far range damage got changed, meaning less shots to kill. In this case, it's going to have the same shot to kill profile, but the damage profile is going to be a little bit different. The bacon and eggs has 25 damage up close, 25 at medium range, and then drops to 20 at longer ranges. Whereas a base XMG is 25 up close, then 20 and 20. So you can see the damage profile is a little bit different there. But to uh, add a little bit more numbers and perspective to it, it's kind of like a range buff. The bacon and eggs is, has a four shot kill range of 30 meters, whereas the base XMG has a four shot kill range of only 13 meters. It's actually a very close range. It's kind of like shotgun range, which is a little bit sad for these kind of weapons, but uh, it's there. It's a, it's a little bit more than a doubling of the range, and I'll say that even though it's only a range buff, you're definitely going to feel it, because it's a huge range buff, and it's going to feel like a damage increase. Of course it will, because the over damage over range and the overall shape of the damage curve has changed, and you'll be dealing more damage over range. So it'll feel like a shredding machine, especially the way I build it with extended mags and rapid fire, but we'll talk about that in just a little bit. I would also like to note here, now I don't have text on the screen for this one, that for some reason the XMGs uh, actually have body multipliers. You get a 1.4x on the head, which is far higher than most of the others. You also get 20% uh, bonus damage to the neck and 10% bonus damage to the chest. This doesn't often translate to less shots to kill, unless of course you're shooting them in the head, but it can make a difference at hardcore and at longer ranges. Another interesting fact about the XMGs is they have different rates of fire. In lockdown mode, they actually fire a little faster. Base is 600, so with both of them, that's 1200 RPM, which is really fast. And when you put them in lockdown mode, they fire at 800, so you get 1600 or 1600 total rounds per minute. That is a ton of lead downstream, and it can be extremely dangerous, especially on these because they deal increased damage. There is a downside, a detriment, a nerf, or whatever you want to call it to this variant, and that's that it has has increased view kick. Now, it, statistically speaking, it has 30% more view kick that could equate to recoil. It is not hip fire spread. I initially did this review assuming that the change in accuracy would mean that it was a hip fire spread increase, but that's not the case. The hip fire spread is the same as the base variant, but it's supposed to have more view kick. I really seriously doubt that's going to be a problem because the view kick for the akimbos is essentially non essential because the, the hip spread's like the size of your screen, and when you put it in lockdown mode, it eliminates all almost all view kick. If there's any view kick at all, I, I rarely feel it and it's not an issue. If anything, the only thing different about the lockdown mode is that you enter a different sensitivity, like your look sensitivity is different and there's no auto aim in lockdown mode. You just have to move the crosshairs around a little bit funny like. So this nerf or detriment is something that you absolutely won't notice at all, which is good. But the question is, is this a good variant? How does it stack up against other XMG variants? And I think that it's a very good XMG variant, but statistically speaking, it's very similar to the meat and potato which is an enlisted gun. Just looking at it on the stat chart here, the meat and potatoes has the exact same damage slash range buff, and it doesn't have any downsides other than it has a slight increase in view kick. Actually, it has a lesser view kick increase than this elite version, but you won't really feel the view kick, so it doesn't make much difference. It's kind of like a two-in-one review. Anything that I say for this, I can just as easily say for the meat and potatoes because they're almost exactly the same guns. So if you have a meat and potatoes, or if you have a bacon and eggs, definitely hang on to them. Don't throw them away. They're very good and very deadly guns. And as for how I like to use them, I like to use them with lots of attachments. I run rapid fire and extended mags, and in order to counteract some of the negative effects of rapid fire, I also run laser sight, though that is not necessarily a requirement. And definitely go with exo hover. I run exo hover and overcharged on this one because it throws off enemies super hard when you jump up and hover over them. They just they just don't expect it, and you can put yourself in unusual places. And you can lock down in hover mode. Very very deadly. The XMG ho hover mode lockdown and objective game modes. Just do not underestimate it. That's all for this episode of In-Depth, but I feel that my gameplay was excellent. I'm going to kind of carry my team here. I'm going to go very, very hard with XMG gameplay. and with the, Well, not XMGs to get this gameplay, you know, and not many people see that too often, so I'm going to do In-Depth a little bit differently. I'm going to go ahead and do the outro, and then I'm going to add the rest of this game at the end so you guys can see how it played out if you want to see that. 
Well, that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something useful. The previous episode was on the ASM-1 Strider, and the next one is going to be on the Atlas 20mm Snapper. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.
Lights them up. Taking the flag. Momentum. Capture the flags. Incoming enemy care package. Enemy recon drone inbound. Enemies control the enemy personnel system. Enemy is securing the flag. Taking the flag. Taking our flag. Taking our flag. Taking the flag. <coughs> Enemy care package incoming. Momentum max. Secure their last flag. Enemy UAV online. Enemy is securing the flag. It's a draw. 